1977, humanity launched two bold emissaries, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, into the vast unknown of space. These spacecraft were not just technological marvels, they were symbols of our collective hope and imagination, carrying the dreams of an entire planet as they left Earth behind. These weren't just machines, they were our curiosity made real, sent to explore Jupiter, Saturn, and beyond. As they soared past the giant planets, they revealed breathtaking images and data, transforming our understanding of the solar system and igniting new questions about our place in the cosmos. Each Voyager carried scientific instruments, and the Golden Record, a time capsule of Earth's sights, sounds and greetings for any distant intelligence. This golden disk was a greeting to the universe, a hopeful gesture that perhaps someone or something out there might one day listen and know we once existed. The mission was a message in a bottle, flung into the cosmic ocean declaring, we exist, and we are reaching out. Alone in the vastness Voyager became a silent ambassador, carrying our story far beyond the warmth of our sun. Over 48 years later Voyager 2 is the longest operating spacecraft, still sending faint signals from the darkness. Its voice is now a whisper, but it continues to share discoveries from regions no human has ever seen. Its mission evolved from planetary science to interstellar exploration, pushing the limits of what we imagined possible. Voyager now travels through the space between stars, venturing into realms untouched by any other human creation. Voyager's story is about our drive to explore, to know what lies beyond the next horizon. It is a story of endless curiosity, of daring to ask what else is out there, and of never settling for the boundaries we know. It's a testament to the vision of those who built it, a machine outliving its creators, still gathering knowledge for future generations. The dedication and ingenuity of countless engineers and scientists are etched into every component, every signal sent home. The probe's journey reminds us, exploration is a gift we pass forward, building on the dreams of those before us. Each new discovery is a stepping stone for the next generation, inspiring them to reach even farther. We launch these messages, hoping they'll illuminate the path for those who follow. Voyager's journey is far from over, and its legacy will echo through the ages, a shining example of humanity's enduring quest to connect with the universe. The Voyager missions were made possible by a rare planetary alignment, occurring only once every 176 years. This grand tour led a single spacecraft slingshot from one giant planet to the next, saving time and fuel. Voyager 2's encounters with Jupiter and Saturn revealed stormy atmospheres, volcanic moons, and Saturn's intricate rings. After Saturn, Voyager 2 alone ventured to Uranus and Neptune, worlds previously seen only as blurry dots. At Uranus, it found a planet tipped on its side and moons scarred by ancient impacts. At Neptune, it discovered fierce winds, a great dark spot, and icy geysers on Triton. These flybys transformed distant planets into real, dynamic worlds. Voyager 2's journey fundamentally rewrote our understanding of the outer solar system. Its solitary path to the ice giants remains one of exploration's greatest feats. After Neptune, Voyager 2 set out on a journey unlike any before it, leaving behind the last known planet and heading into the vast, uncharted reaches of our solar system. Its mission was to find the true edge of the solar system, a place no spacecraft had ever reached, and whose very definition was still a mystery. The edge isn't a solid barrier but rather the invisible boundary of the sun's influence, a vast, teardrop-shaped bubble called the heliosphere, created and inflated by the solar wind streaming outward in all directions. Scientists theorized a boundary called the heliopause, where the solar wind finally slows and collides with the interstellar medium, the thin gas and dust that fills the space between stars. Voyager's new mission was to cross this invisible frontier and reveal what truly lies beyond the sun's protective bubble. Its instruments were tuned to detect subtle changes in the environment, searching for the telltale signs of the crossing. For years, Voyager 2 traveled through the turbulent shifting outer heliosphere, braving intense radiation and unpredictable plasma, its sensors always ready for the moment of transition. Back on Earth, teams of scientists watched for a drop in solar particles, tiny charged bits from the sun, and a spike in cosmic rays, high-energy particles from distant stars, which would be clear evidence that Voyager had entered true interstellar space. The exact location of the heliopause was unknown. Voyager 1 had crossed it in 2012, much farther from the sun than anyone had predicted, showing just how dynamic and mysterious this boundary could be. Voyager 2, following a different path through the solar system, would soon provide a second crucial data point, 
helping to confirm and refine our understanding of the solar system's true edge. Its crossing would help map the true shape, size, and nature of our solar system's protective bubble, revealing how our sun interacts with the galaxy beyond. This was exploration at its purest, venturing into the unknown guided only by theory, curiosity, and the hope of discovery. On November 5, 2018, Voyager 2 crossed a boundary no human-made object had ever reached before, the heliopause, the very edge of our sun's influence, 11 billion miles from Earth. This was a moment decades in the making, the culmination of a journey that began in 1977, when Voyager 2 was launched on a mission to explore the outer planets and beyond. Suddenly the familiar solar particles that had surrounded the probe for so long vanished, replaced by a surge of cosmic rays from the galaxy beyond. Clear evidence that Voyager 2 had entered true interstellar space, leaving the protective bubble of the sun behind. But the data revealed a shock. Voyager 2 encountered what scientists called a firewall of superheated plasma, with temperatures soaring to around 50,000 degrees Celsius, far hotter than anyone had predicted for this region. Instead of cooling as it drifted away from the sun, the solar wind was compressed and heated at the boundary, creating a turbulent, energetic frontier where the forces of our solar system and the galaxy beyond collide in a cosmic standoff. This wasn't a wall of flame in the traditional sense, but a region where the sun's wind crashed violently into the galactic wind, forming a dynamic and ever-changing boundary that marks the true edge of our solar neighborhood. Voyager 2's instruments, still functioning after more than four decades, provided the first direct evidence of this phenomenon, showing that the edge of our solar system is not a quiet, empty void, but a dynamic, violent place teeming with energy and surprises. The boundary was sharper and hotter than expected, forcing scientists to rethink their models of how our solar system interacts with the rest of the galaxy and raising new questions about what lies beyond. How did 1970s technology survive such extremes, enduring radiation, cold, and the unknown for so many years? The answer is a testament to both human ingenuity and the remarkable physics of space itself. The answer lay in the physics of space itself, where the vacuum and the probe's own design helped shield it from the worst of the environment, allowing it to keep sending data from the frontier. Even at the edge, Voyager 2 was still delivering revolutionary science, peeling back another layer of the cosmos and revealing secrets that had been hidden for billions of years. Its crossing revealed a feature of our solar system invisible until we dared to go there, a hidden frontier that challenges our understanding of space and our place within it. The probe's resilience and discoveries continue to astonish, reminding us that even the oldest explorers can still uncover the universe's greatest mysteries. How did Voyager 2 survive a 50 000 degree firewall? The secret is the difference between temperature and heat. Temperature measures how fast particles move, heat is the energy transferred between objects. In deep space the plasma is superheated but incredibly sparse, so few particles that little energy is transferred. It's like putting your hand in a hot oven, the air is hot but not dense enough to burn you quickly. The firewall is like that oven air, energetic but too thin to harm the spacecraft. Voyager passed through almost untouched, its temperature barely changing. This principle of physics allowed both Voyagers to survive their passage into interstellar space. Our earthly intuition about heat doesn't always apply in the cosmos. Voyager's survival was a triumph of science, not luck. The hot boundary at the edge of the heliosphere is more than a curiosity. It's our cosmic shield, standing guard at the frontier of our solar system. Voyager data confirmed the heliosphere blocks about two-thirds of dangerous galactic cosmic rays, shielding us from countless invisible threats. These high-energy particles born from distant supernovae can damage life and sensitive electronics, posing risks to both technology and biology. The heliosphere's magnetic fields and plasma streams deflect much of this radiation, making our solar system a safer haven for life to thrive. Without this shield, Earth would face far more radiation, threatening life as we know it and altering our planet's environment. The sun is not just our energy source, it's our guardian, inflating this protective bubble that surrounds us all. Voyager's journey revealed how delicate and vital this system is for our existence, highlighting its importance in cosmic survival. We live not just on a planet but inside a stellar cocoon, protected by the sun's invisible reach. Before leaving the planets behind, Voyager 1 turned its camera homeward at Carl Sagan's request. From 4 billion miles away, it captured the pale blue dot, Earth as a single pixel in the vastness. Sagan reflected, 
Every human story, every triumph and tragedy played out on that tiny stage. The image is a humbling reminder of our shared fragility and responsibility. Voyager's legacy is twofold. It revolutionized science and gave us a new perspective on our place in the cosmos. The probes unveiled volcanoes, geysers, and the firewall at our solar system's edge. But they also forced us to confront our own significance in the universe. Voyager 2 continues its silent journey, carrying our message and our hope into the interstellar dark. Its voyage urges us to keep exploring, and to cherish the only home we've ever known.